Mheshimiwa Kalonzo Msioka, Mheshimiwa Mata Karua, Mheshimiwa Governor Wairia, Mheshimiwa Kioni, Mheshimiwa Paranya. I'll be very brief and I will not go to what has been said. I talk differently. When you go to a place, you don't repeat what others have said because they have made a point. Baba has made a point, the rest have made a point. I've looked into this budget. This budget is rotten. I'm not going to comment on it because it doesn't have things that matter. In Kenya today, with Galalu Gulana, or Gulanu, Gulalu Galana, which was one million acres of land, we had proposed as Roots Party before, we had proposed that we shall take 200,000 acres of land in Gula, Galana Gulalu and grow weed for export. We'll not be having this issue of manuring, this issue of uh, propositions of uh, taxes up and taxes down. Bang does not need fertilizer. Bang does not need to, to, to be nurtured. It only grows for four uh, months. But the reason why I'm talking of bank economics is the world has moved away from this miniature kind of budget, budgetary system which are imposed by the World Bank, IMF, or Bretton Woods institutions. I, and I, as a scholar of Bretton Woods institutions, that's law and economics, law and development, if you look at what Walter Rodney wrote, and I'm sure uh, my friend Honorable Calonzo is very much aware because he's a reader, Walter Reed, uh, Rodney wrote of uh, a, a phraseology that led to his death when he was a Guyanese living in Dar es Salaam at that particular time, of how Europe underdeveloped Africa. So we are talking of hegemony of development and undermining underdevelopment because we, they are looking at us and saying that Africans have no conscience. We have to develop them. If you look at Professor Yunis, Yunis of Bangladesh, who is also a scholar renowned for renowned for women banking, cooperative women banking, some, a theme that has been taken over by Bangladesh, which is mixed with Islamic banking, that the World Bank has now borrowed that kind of uh, uh, paradigm, where banking is done from the locality of the women where they are found. And that's a story for another day. We will not be talking on this every day, budget, every day, kama tungepanda bangi, for export and for economic development, not for smoking. We will not be having this kind of discussions every day. I speak very harshly because I am one of you. And I am one of you. I am also recognized wherever I've been in terms of intellectual scholarly work that we have contributed to Harvard, London School of Economics, whereby the whites use us to develop some conscience. Now look at these theories that we are talking about here. These are the kingdom theories. There are theories that are violating what you call kingdom theories, where they talk of the garbage can and the policies. Now, here, what Ruto has done is that he has brought a policy to look for a solution. No, no, he has brought a solution to look for a policy. Instead of putting solutions together and then you look for a policy, our system is up, upside down. And none of our leaders are thinking of this. Go outside the box. Look at those Kenyans in the diaspora. Ask them why they're working there. And Honorable Odemo is here. He was one of the best uh, ambassadors we had when we were in the, in the UK. He used to accommodate what we had. Let's look at what we can borrow from the diaspora. We have the brains outside this country that can come and develop this country. Let's look at the Museveni format, the formula that Museveni has used. None of us wants to talk about the Kenyans in the diaspora. We talk about ourselves. Somebody went to Kangundo High School. Nairobi University, worked in the ministry, went to live in Lovington. What kind of policy do you think this person can make? Thank you very much.